This is the Ubiquiti Unify USW Enterprise 8 PoE Network Switch. A fully managed 8 port 2.5 gigabit PoE switch with two 10 gig SFP Plus connections that may just be the perfect switch for your home lab. A switch, once again, that no one seems to be talking about and we're gonna fix that. All right, buckle up because we have a switch to talk about today that has so many features, we think you might be foolish not to have it in your rack. We are, of course, talking about the Ubiquiti Unify USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch. We've got it here and we are going to take a look. Let's get down to the details, shall we? The USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch measures in at 200 millimeters deep, by 248 millimeters wide, by 44 millimeters high. The unit weighs in at a bit over five pounds, and the case is made of white polycarbonate plastic, which is a departure from Ubiquiti's metal enclosure switches. Up front, you'll find eight 2.5 gigabit PoE Plus base T Ethernet ports, with each port having a maximum wattage of 32 watts per port. And rounding out the switch, we find two 10 gigabit SFP Plus ports for a total of 10 ports of connectivity. On the left side of the switch, we find the signature 1.3 inch LCD display that provides at a glance details about the switch, including real time per port throughput, switch status, addressing, and more. Around back, you'll find a single C13 power plug with an internal 150 watt PSU with a simple locking mechanism to keep the C13 connection connected, which is particularly useful for when you wall mount the switch, and not much else. And on the bottom, slots for the included wall mounting bracket. This switch boasts 40 gigabits of total non-blocking throughput with a switching capacity of 80 gigabits, a forwarding rate of 59.52 million packets per second, and a maximum PoE power of 120 watts. Like all Unify switching gear, management is in band, meaning there is no dedicated management port on the switch, and you'll have to have a Unify controller set up to manage the switch's config. The USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch has one more promised feature that at the time of this video, we were unable to evaluate, and that is the layer three functionality. This promised functionality is expected in a future firmware upgrade, but when that will actually come to exist, no idea. Thankfully, while those features will be nice to have, they're not necessary for most home labs or small businesses that currently use a router on a stick topology. Layer two is just fine. Now let's log into Unify, adopt the switch, and get it configured. This switch will be installed as part of my new network build out, so we have a fresh, empty, dedicated site just for my new environment. Let's head over to devices on the left and begin the adoption process. We can see the new switch has been detected and is awaiting to be adopted into our new controller. Let's select our new switch and begin the adoption process. On the slide out details window on the right, we have an adopt button we'll click and the UNFI controller will push out our standard site config down to the new switch. The status of the new switch will show provisioning until the adoption process has been completed. Once the switch has been provisioned, we can see the eight ports, make changes like applying port profiles, provide port names or aliases, and monitor the traffic moving through the switch. The process took quite some time to complete since the switch also took a firmware update at the same time. There is so much going on for the switch, but it's not all sunshine and roses. There are two main issues with the switch that you need to consider before purchasing. The first issue is cost. This switch is expensive. You can pick up the USW Enterprise 8 PoE directly from Ubiquiti for the modest sum of $479, which for an 8 port 2.5 gigabit plus two 10 gigabit switch with future layer three functionality, isn't that bad of a price. However, for many, that's far outside their comfortable price range. Next, we were struck by just how much heat this little switch puts out. We were surprised to feel the considerable amount of heat this little switch puts off just sitting idle. Here's some IR video of the switch sitting on our desk. No packets passing, no PoE connections, nothing. Knowing this little guy can get hot means if you're considering buying the switch, you wanna make sure it's placed in a ventilated area to keep the temps down. And no, the USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch does not have a built-in fan. What's left to say about the USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch? This switch really does have all the enterprise level features you'd want in a switch. It's about time we start seeing more 2.5 gigabit switches on the market in a price range more people can afford, and with eight ports of ethernet, you'll have all the connectivity you need. Throw in the two 10 gigabit SFP plus ports, and now you have a switch that can fit into your home lamp to uplink to servers or other high-speed gear, or if you're in a business environment, uplink to your distribution switches. 
It's a shame that we couldn't test the Layer 3 functionality as that remains to be released by Ubiquity. And the price tag for this Switch will put it outside the reach of budget homelands and businesses just looking for simple connectivity. Lastly, the amount of heat the Switch puts out was surprising to us, though it remains to be seen if the heat will cause performance or reliability issues over time. All that being said, if you've got the cash and you're looking for a really badass little switch that can be the center of your home lab's network, you'd be a fool not to buy it. Now that you've seen this video, check out this one here where we review the USW Aggregation 8 port 10 gigabit switch from Ubiquiti and compare it to the Microtik CRS309. Thank <laughs> you.